Hi everyone, welcome back to our e-learning games. My name is Kristen Hilty again from Making Math Make Sense. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to play addition tic-tac-toe with my friend Brett. To play this game, you'll need um, a couple different types of counters. I like to use these bingo chip counters down here over our parts. Um, and then you're going to need um, a second kind of counter that will be two different colors for you and your partner. Uh, you can, if you have access to these red and yellow counters, you can use those. Brett and I are actually using M&Ms today to play our games because at the end, then we actually get to eat our M&Ms. So to play this game, person who goes first is going to cover over, use these two clear counters to cover over two um, parts or two add-ends down here at the bottom of our board. Brett, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll move first. Okay, so he's going to take those and cover over any two parts he wants to. Three plus three equals nine. Three plus six equals nine. So he covered over the three and the six. He's putting his M and M over top of nine. I now can only move one of those two counters uh, to put mine chip on the board. So let's see. I'm going to do three plus five equals eight, and mine's going to cover over the eight. Brett's gonna go. The object of this game, while you're playing it in the beginning, is to get three of your color counter in a row. Three in a row. Okay, five so what'd you do? Okay, so he doubled up on the five, which you definitely can do. That means I have to use the five in my equation. So I'm gonna do five plus six equals 11 and block him right there. Brett's turn and he gets to move either the five or the six, it's up to him. He's thinking hard. Ten plus five equals fifteen. So he did ten plus five equals fifteen. I am going to do ten plus ten equals twenty and block him there. If you could see his face and see how much he's thinking, it's kind of funny. There's steam coming out of his ears. All right, move one of those over. 10 plus 2 equals 12. Okay, 10 plus 2 equals 12. Look at what you just covered over. Oh, it's because I moved you back. I know, he is sitting upside down, so I will give you that one. So 10 plus 2 equals 12. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. 10 plus 11 is 21. 10 plus 11 equals 21, and he wins. So he has three in a row diagonally here. 10 plus 11 equals 21. That's how you play addition tic-tac-toe. Once your kids get good, make them get four in a row, five in a row, try for a whole column, try for a whole row, or make it you have to get the diagonal. It's up to you, but have fun playing. We'd love to hear your comments or see you and your friends playing this game at home. Have fun.